Okay, this is the first part we're going to be doing. It's called O1 Airplane. Uh, first of all, there's a lot of features that are similar here in Illustrator than in Photoshop. Uh, for example, you see the direct selection tool, right? So that's the same, V. Then A is for the direct selection tool. Now let's see what the difference between those are. So I can click on an object and I can move it, right? Command Z is undo. Now, let's say I want to move both um, at the same time. You can draw a box around them. Hold on. Okay, today we are going to be learning f Illustrator and some of the basic tools uh, that we can use. You should have open O1 this airplane file and you can get the files on the website it's called pencil tutorial and we're going to use this direct selection tool which is very similar in Photoshop you're going to click on one you can hold down shift key and select the other one to select multiple objects or you can draw a box around both of them and hit command what to group it command G to group so now we can move them together okay so that's how you move them. Now, if you want to make these uh, airplanes a little bit more aerodynamic, click on the direct selection tool or A. Uh, click on one of the uh, points. And by the way, whenever you're working in a space, you want to maximize the space and use all of the screen uh, desktop real estate that you can. So click on this green plus arrow to maximize it. And then if you hold down the option key, yeah, hold on the option key and then with your scroll button you can scroll up and it can zoom in and scroll back and scroll out. You can also go right and you can go left with the scroll um, little button. Um, you can also like make it dance, you know, just woo hoo. If you don't have that little scroll thing you can hit command and the plus and minus arrows on your keyboard. That does it as well. Okay, so with the direct selection tool, I'm going to hit A and then you're going to click on it. Make sure you can see anchor and then you're going to drag that up so it's a little bit more aerodynamic. Now let's make one that's less aerodynamic. I'm going to make this one a little bit more fat like this. I'm actually even going to like make it a little bit chubby. There we go. So I don't think that airplane would be very, very aerodynamic. So make one both. Okay. Next, uh, the apple. Okay. Um, I don't like the color red very much. And I don't like red apples. I like green apples. So just click on the apple uh, using the V tool or V direct selection tool. And then on the right, you'll see all these colors on your swatches. If you don't have this, you need to go up to Window, Workspace, and choose Panel. And if you still don't have it, you can go in and find Swatches and select Swatches to get that panel up. So I'm going to hit Green to make my color green. And I think that was, that's my favorite feature of Illustrator. You can just click and change colors on the fly. Remember in Photoshop, it was very difficult to change colors. You have to go find the layer and then do this and that. Illustrator makes it really easy. Okay. Uh, now we got this fish. I want you to uh, give the fish a cool looking color. Choose a texture or a gradient of colors. I'm going to make this guy a leopard fish. Yeah. So it's all in your swatches. Okay. If you don't see a color that you like, uh, you can click on this little icon there and then go down and go to open swatch library and then you can choose different swatch libraries and you have different colors now finally for this hat I'm gonna place this hat right in the middle and we're gonna use this second hat kinda of like as a reflection so I'm gonna kinda of stick it over the other hat then I'm gonna drag the top and drag it down to the below now make it a little bit squished, okay? Like uh, a little distorted so that it looks like a reflection. 
And then I'm going to choose like a gray so it looks kind of like a reflection. Okay. So, and then uh, if the sun was out, the sun would be right about here maybe. And then I can have my little lines going for my sun. But you don't have to have a sun, that's okay. So you should have this. Okay, if you don't have it, it's okay. We'll come back to it, moving on. Go to the second part. Sunflowers, maximize your space. Get it so you can easily see everything. Now we're gonna make the flower look on the left look like the flower on the right. So go ahead, click and drag the flower in to place. By the way, what kind of flower is this? Sunflower. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> now instead of dragging each of these seeds, what's a better way to do that? Yeah, highlight all of them, command G, and drag. Okay, we got it. Now we don't need our sunflower on the right anymore, but notice you can't click and delete it. It doesn't it's kinda like locked. So if you look at your layers, and if you don't see your layers, like I don't see my layers right now. So what I can do is go to window and then choose layers. And and that's F7 if you don't if you need it. There's my layers. Um, now notice on your layers that it's locked. See this little lock button? So we need to unlock this. So now we can giddy up and go. Yeah. <laughs> now with our sunflowers, instead of deleting it because we may need it later, we're going to hide it. And to hide it, uh, you would think it would be Command H, but it's not. It's actually Command 3. That's a hide it. To unhide it, it's Command Shift 3, or sorry, Command Option 3 and unhide. So I'm going to hide it, and we're done with Sunflower.